Hi, this is Paula from CHE. These are the news of the week for Sherikamp and surrounding areas. On today's segment, the easing of some COVID-19 restrictions for sports and culture. Also, we'll bring you the highlights of this month's Committee of the Whole meeting at Inverness County. But first, a COVID scare in Shetty Camp. The local Canada Post Office was closed for a few days this week after an employee was exposed to COVID-19. In an email, Canada Post said that all their Shetty Camp employees were tested and the results came back negative. During the closure, the office was also sanitized. The province is extending most of its COVID restrictions until February 7th, but it's also loosening some of them. Starting on January 25th, the number of people allowed without physical distancing at sports and cultural events is going back to 50. For sports, players will be able to train and compete within their regular schedule, but events that bring together teams or participants that will not regularly compete against each other will not be permitted. Provincial championships would be an example of what is not allowed. Public Health worked with Sports Nova Scotia to work out the details about these guidelines. You can visit their website to find more details at novascotiasports.ca. They even have a frequently asked questions document prepared. For arts and culture, performances can only be virtual. Just like sports, there can be no in-person spectators. The government is also announcing the easing of a few more restrictions. We are also allowing residents from adult service centers and regional rehabilitation centers to go out into the community and start volunteering and working again. We are lifting only these restrictions because it's important for the mental and physical health of all those involved. This week, the province put out a call for volunteers to work at the community vaccination clinics that will be set up in the spring. The government is looking for healthcare providers, like people interested in coming out of retirement, and also non-healthcare workers. You can apply online at nshealth.ca-volunteer. On Thursday, Inverness County held its January Committee of the Whole. Different from monthly council meetings, Committee of the Whole meetings are meant for open discussion about issues that will be voted on during upcoming council meetings. During the Committee of the Whole, councillors hear input from municipal staff and then exchange ideas and make recommendations for the next council meeting. Here are the highlights for Sherry Camp from this month's Committee of the Whole. Councillors said they received complaints from all over the county about issues with snow clearing. The municipality currently has 72 hours to clean up after a storm. Council is interested in possibly making that time frame shorter, and we will be having a detailed discussion about it at the next Committee of the Whole, where councillors and staff will look into logistics. There's an update about winter sports equipment rentals, a new site where residents can take out winter gear like skis, snowshoes and walking poles, is being established in Shetty Camp. Currently, there are three spots in the county where you can get them, and that's in Port Hood, Inverness, and the Marguerite Library, which has only snowshoes. Here's Charlotte McDonald, Recreational Manager, with more details. We're dependent on um, funding. We receive funding through the Sports Fund um, okay. project in order to get equipment, um, okay. some of the equipment that we're, or we're ordering to expand that inventory. So we have uh, most recently received the, uh, the last week, received the approval for that funding and, and the, the funding is, we now that we know that it's approved, we'll move forward with that order. There's no confirmed opening date for the Shetty Camp site so far. The Sacred Heart Hospital Foundation is requesting $20,000 to buy and repair equipment and to pay for the building's maintenance. In reviewing the scope and timing of the planned work, because the work isn't planned till next fiscal year, during the meeting, councillors recommended to defer that funding to the next fiscal year that starts on March 31, 2021. This will be confirmed at the next council meeting the first week of February when council will take a vote on it. Those are our news for the week. If you have any stories you'd like to share, you can write to us at chne.television at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll leave you with an image of Shetty Camp this weekend.